this day Kalpana here in this video we are going to solve a differential equation using variable separable method. So let's get going. Problem solve dy by dx minus x tan y minus x equals to 1. Solution given differential equation dy by dx minus x tan y minus x equals to 1. Now put y minus x equals to some t. Now differentiate with respect to x on both sides. Then d by dx of y minus x equals to d by dx of t. Then derivative of y with respect to x minus derivative of x with respect to x equals to derivative of t with respect to x. Then dy by dx minus 1 equals to dt by dx. Also you can write this as dy by dx equals to dt by dx plus 1. Okay. Now we'll replace dy by dx and y minus x. Then this becomes replace dy by dx by dt by dx plus 1 minus x into tan. Replace y minus x by t equals to 1. Then dt by dx minus x tan t equals to 1. We'll take this 1 to RHS, it becomes minus 1. So 1 minus 1 is 0, right? Then dt by dx minus x tan t equals to 0. Now you can write this as dt by dx equals to x tan t. Now we'll write all the functions of t and differential dt in one side and functions of x and differential dx on the other side. Then 1 by tan t into dt equals to x dx. We know that reciprocal of tan theta is cot theta. Since Then this becomes, you can write 1 by tan t is called t into dt equals to x into dx. Here the variables are separable, so we can perform integration. Integral cot t dt equals to integral x dx, since we know that. Integral cot theta d theta equals to log mod sine theta plus integral constant c and integral x power n dx equals to x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 plus integral constant c for n not equals to minus 1. Okay. So here. You are having integral cot t dt. It is equals to log mod sin t equals to integral x dx. You are having x power 1 here, right? For n not equals to minus 1. Since n equals to 1, which is not equals to minus 1. So, we are going to apply this formula. You get x power 1 plus 1 by 1 plus 1 plus integral constant c then. Log sin t equals to x squared by 2 plus c. You can write this as log sin t equals to x square plus 2c by 2. Since c being constant, you can write 2c as c. 
then log sin t equals to x square plus c by 2. Then 2 log sin t equals to x square plus c. Right? Now, we need to replace this t. Since t equals to y minus x from this, then you'll get 2 log sin y minus x equals to x square plus c. You're having log mod, right? Mod sin t. Right, mod itself. You can also write in brackets. So, this is a general solution. Therefore, 2 log mod sin y minus x equals to x square plus c is the general solution of 1. So, this completes the problem. We have seen our problem from differential equations in this video. Hope you'll understand. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.